As a young man, I worked extremely hard and learned so much on the streets. Eventually, I became extremely successful. And because of my concern for the youth of today, I decided to compile my experiences into what I call the winning formula. In other words, how to be a successful boss. First of all, keep your company small so you don't spend all the time moving around in the company of so many people you can't understand. Draw your operative from a very delicate and weak segment of society. That way you can guarantee not just their loyalty. Let others do the dirty job for you so that you can preserve your life. It goes a long way. In my own case, I prefer to work with women. You see, it's a man's world, all right, but it's the women who call the shots. Give them specific assignments. And of course, develop pet names for each and every one of them. That way, they'll be very, very, very close. Let me introduce you to the diva that I work with. Now, this is Kendra. I refer to Kendra as my Colombian connection because her father is the vortex of all my operations in the Caribbean. Kendra is fine size, so I call her affectionately the Patrick. Then there is Kosara, my adopted daughter. She's my confidence. I am persuaded that where the devil does not want to go in person, it sends alcohol. When I feel physically reluctant to inflict my company on any segment of society, I send Kosara. She's deceptive in her appearance as a slim person, but she can be quite sly and she can get all the information I require. One thing I can say for her though, she's unbreakable, she's unbendable in spite of her size. Kate the engine room of the company. Kate has very salacious proportions, so I call her the big one. She has a computerized brain. Whenever the economic indices tend to point towards a slowdown in our operations, she notifies me so we can adjust accordingly. Nature endowed Chris with very teasing proportions. I look at Kosi and she reminds me of a Babylonian belly dancer. So I can't keep my eye off her. All right. Let's just see how it works out between two of us. I am the boss and I operate from the background as Boss X. My name, Inechuku, will be welcome to my world. My permanent goal is to make all of you happy. But to make you happy costs plenty of money. You see, you have bound yourself together to enjoy the best in life. Therefore, you must live flamboyantly by making money. Don't ever allow yourselves to be poor. Poverty is a crime, as far as I am concerned. The best thing you can do for the poor is to reduce their number. Don't be part of them. So when the situation comes, grab it. But remember, like in politics, there are no permanent friends in business. There are no permanent enemies. No. As your boss, I have a shoulder you can lean on anytime. You have access to me. Whenever anything goes wrong, let me know. All right.
I wish all of you luck. Thank you, Daddy. Yes, yes, I invited you out here so we can talk like father and son. You know, the first time I saw you, I said to myself, this is the kind of young man I'd like to work with. And um, you haven't let me down. Thank you, sir. I said I was going to engage you so you could operate for me in various capacities. You would serve as my personal assistant, my bodyguard, uh, my chief of general staff, uh, by way of speaking, and then somebody who is going to monitor the movements of my baby of girls that uh, I refer to as my divas, and you have not let me down. Thank you very much, sir. I wonder why you have been so successful. What is responsible for that? Oh, uh, my ability to be so uh, diverse is probably because my father was a military man. Uh -huh. I thought as much, uh, because there is precision in whatever you do. Mm, now I know where that uh, your ability comes from. I'm delighted. Thank you very much, sir. You see, once upon a time, I, um, I had two sons. I lost them in very tragic circumstances. Thank you. People's tongues were set wagging after I lost the second one. They said I used my kids for rituals, and I said, oh my God, why? Why must people make such comments? But then again, every individual has a constitutional right to even talk nonsense all the time. So I didn't let that bother me. Now, in you, I have found a son. I am honored, sir. And you have been immensely useful to me. Thank you, sir. I'm going to make you a promise. Whenever you find yourself in a situation that requires taking a drastic action, don't hesitate to do it. Don't hesitate. I have men in very high places. And they know what it takes to be very, very close to me. They never lose. So they're so anxious to do my bidding hmm? at the drop of a hat. In the military, in the police, in the civil service, you know. So you have my backing. Whatever it is you're going to do, do it. Don't be scared. Okay, sir. I will yes. do as you've instructed. Beautiful. I don't believe in trepidation. Looking at the situation and saying, oh my God. What is likely to be the consequences if I did this? No. Go ahead and do it. I will, sir. The boss is behind you. Hmm? Thank you very much. Good. Sir. I'm very honored, sir. Mm. That's my son. Take your drink. Unreliable, and a lying, cheating rogue. 
That's why I kicked you out. And now you think that after telling the tale, you can now turn my enemies against me. Visibly. No. Every single word you uttered was recorded and relayed back to me. I want to let you know that you can run, but you can't hide. It goes out. It goes out. See, if, if you do anything to me, my, my mother is going to die. Please. Don't worry about your mother. By tomorrow morning, your mother will get some message from you that you are worried about you. <laughs> please, uh, please are not best to me. Very sweet. So, so I, I have the key to Danko's vote. I have the key to Danko. I can, I can, get, I can let everything go. You're a betrayer. It cost me a hundred and twenty million naira. If you give it to me now, I'll set you free. Now. Sir, where can I get that kind of money from? You know, you want to be a gangster, but you don't have the brains to be a gangster. No. I have looked at you. Between both ears, you have all muscle, no brains whatsoever. Perhaps in your next incarnation, you develop brains and be a good gangster. You don't even look like a human being to me. You look like an imitation of a human being. Um. Take him away and waste him. I get up every day and I thank God for this wonderful team that he gave me. You people have been wonderful, beautiful. You have not disappointed my expectations at all, and I'm very happy about it. Kate? Yes, Daddy. You have guaranteed that our finances are in order, and you have kept us afloat. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Kendra, Kosara. Hey, Daddy. Your international trips have been flawless. And I thank all of you for As a matter of fact, Kendra, your father is the reason why I made Columbia my second home. Yes. My Caribbean operations revolve around your father. He's a wonderful man. Kosi, you have extended my lifespan. Hmm? I can't say more. Mm -hmm. Kelvin, you will always remain a son to me. Thanks, boss. You see, making money is like uh, blood flowing in one veins. There are no morals, no scruples, except, of course, the scruples leading to making more money. You're about embarking on business trips again. You have never failed me. I have no illusions about that. I know you're going to have a very successful trip, as I've always done. I've made money, and you've watched me make money, and you're beginning to make money. And I've given you a promise, and I have a very big package waiting for you. When you come back, I will reveal the package. It's so tempting, it's so teasing, it's so irresistible. Let me not talk about it until you come back. I wish I love your work. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Daddy. Mm -hmm.
Don Pedro, the consignment has been delivered. And then just ask your boys to confirm so you can get back to me. Hmm? All right. Uh, the next consignment is coming in tomorrow morning. My other girl, Kendra, is flying out tonight. Make sure that it's a smooth operation for her, please. I will appreciate it. Yes. I've already discussed with Diego, so she'll be waiting for her. Of course she's a pretty girl. You know how my girls are. She's a very beautiful girl, but I must warn you. She's off limits. Pedro, if you touch this girl, I will kill you. And I mean every word of what I'm doing. You're very stupid, idiot. <laughs> Thank you very much. She'll be flying out this evening. Yes. Please wait for her. Hmm? Good. Thank you. Thank you. Kendra. Don Pedro is an unrepentant womanizer. She has ten children from ten different women. You will not be the eleventh. Let me tell you what you're going to do. Ensure that his snares don't catch you. He's a bastard when it comes to this. He can say anything to get a woman. So, now that you have been warned, you know what you will do? Get your chastity belt and tie it. Good luck. Thank you. Mm. That's my girl. That's my girl. I'm afraid history is about to repeat itself. What is the problem? It is Kate, sir. She has found a new suitor and she's scheming on leaving the organization. So what is all this obsession with marriage? What's wrong with Kate? Hmm? I don't know, sir. Maybe her age. Yeah, but life can be better outside than what it is inside this mansion. Can't she understand that? By the way, where is this young man from? He's a medical doctor and a widower. Mm. He hails from Ogun State, but currently lives in Canada. But he is here in Lagos on vacation. Why must a girl as brilliant and intelligent as Kate be a sucker for marriage? Why? I noticed that the divas have a lot of wealthy men flocking around them, both in the country and out of the country. But the only person that seems to be trustworthy from the lot is Kosi. That's why I love her, because she's reliable and she's reacting very affectionately to me. I tell you something, I engaged you to keep track of the movements of all these girls and you are doing a wonderful job, so I'm going to compensate you heavily for what you are doing. All right, you'll do me one assignment. Arrange a meeting. I want to see that young man who is distracting Kate. Hmm? Yes, sir. Good. <laughs> I told you about is my fiance. 
this is my daddy, my mentor. Good evening, daddy. My boss. In fact, he means the whole world to me. Yeah. You're welcome, son. It's nice meeting you, sir. God bless you, son. Please sit down. Thank you very much. Thank you, daddy. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a privilege meeting you, sir. My name is Teddy. I'm a medical doctor from Ogun State. And I live in Canada, but I'm back to Nigeria for a two month holiday. And um, my angel Kate told me a lot about you. She told me how you picked her up from the streets and trained at one of the best universities in England, up until she graduated as an accountant and eventually her master's in Oxford University. Daddy, you are indeed a great man. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Thank you. Um... Well, it's my vocation. Um, I believe in investing in humanity. I do a lot for the underprivileged. And it just gives me some joy. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. And I think you're exceptionally lucky to uh, demand her hand in marriage. Exactly, Daddy. Kate means a lot to me and to our company. Um, I call her the engine room of our company because she manages our finances, you know, and uh, it is said that individuals are not indispensable, but I would hate to lose her. But I can't prevent her from getting married, so I entitled her to be good. Um, in our culture, no one man goes to seek a girl's hand in marriage, no. You must go with the relations of yours. And you've said you're going to spend about two months, right? Okay. In the next two weeks, come back here with your relations so we can uh, we can now talk. Mm? And I know how serious you are. Mm? Good. Now I know you're serious. <laughs> Kate, get your guest something to drink. Oh, would you like a cake? Champagne, red wine, something? Get him palm wine. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm, I'm back home. So how long have you been in Canada? Yeah, I've been in Canada right from my university days till I did my masters and I've been working over there as a pathologist. Ooh, you're welcome, sir. Run from what? Hold on, calm down. Run from what? What are you talking about? You come to Nigeria and you can't seduce me. No, women. I'm not seducing. I'm not. You know who I'm talking about. You know what, what I'm talking see, about. See, there's a mistake somewhere. Teddy, this... Teddy, is it your name, Teddy? Oh, yeah. Teddy, yeah. yeah. You come to Nigeria and you seduce married women? No, no. Teddy, Teddy, no. Teddy. Does Kate ring a bell? The name Kate does it ring a bell? Yeah. Good. That's my wife. You stay away from my wife. You heard me? Let's go back to where you came from. Where is it you came from? Canada? Go back to Canada. Alright? You hear me? Yeah. This is your first and last warning. Okay. 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 You wanna come back for this? Yeah. But Ken's capital mansion was a safe haven and empire of pleasure for the divas. But underneath the glades and glamour, a whole lot of other scary things happen. My call now, eh? Switch off. Haba, what's happening, Teddy? Eh? Pick my call. What have I got done wrong? This is the third day running now. I've been trying to reach you. Oh my goodness, what's happening? 
What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening again this time? What's happening again this time? The third day now. Let me try again one more time. Still switched off. Still switched off. Daddy, why? What's happening to me? Still switched off. My God. Sit down and wipe your tears. I want you to listen to me. The moment I set my eyes on that young man, I knew he was not for real. A husband who will get married to you, he becomes a very enduring and affectionate experience for you. Not one who will marry you today, and in three weeks' time, he runs away. He becomes the scandalous attachment to you. Wipe your tears. I want you to go to the office. Draw a check for 500000 That's half a million. Bring it to me. I will sign it and give it to you. Spend it anywhere you like. If you feel like flying out of the state to any other state, you are free. Now listen, you have enough physical attributes to engage the attention of any man. So no man who appreciates something will look at you and turn away. You can always get any man you want to. So bring that check for 500000 I will sign it and I'll give it to you. It is yours to spend however you like. Huh? All right, come, 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 come. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right, it's all right. Hmm? It's okay. Now go and draw that check and bring it to me. Go on. I have always loved you for so many reasons. Number one, you're my adopted daughter. Number two, you have been my confidant. And all the information I have given you confidentially have all been preserved. And that's why I'm very happy. See, I'll tell you something. There are very few girls who can keep secrets. A lot of women are very flippant. The moment you tell them something, the next moment, it's off. They find somebody to relate to, and all that secret is gone. But in your own case, you've been quite different. You've been doing it very well. In addition to being a very charming person, even though you like the dressing like a gypsy, um, you are ruthless in business. You are very shrewd in business. You are slim, spindly almost, but still. You're not bendable, you're not breakable. 
that means uh, you have a very strong character. And what I want in a woman is character. And you have it, and I'm very happy about it. Ah, oh, love you too, Daddy. Do you know I feel so honored being your confidence? And I promise not to ever let you down, Daddy. I promise. Mm -hmm. Good. Something you're going to do for me, keep an eye on all these girls that I work with. And uh, whenever I get any piece of information regarding my empire, let me know. If there's anybody who intends to either disrupt my business, the empire, or even interfere with my own personal affairs, I trust that you will let me know. Hmm? Listen, Daddy, you saved my life. You made me the woman I am today. What more can you do? I'll be there for you, Daddy. You don't even have to bother about it. Huh? Just trust me. Thank you, Daddy. Love you. Women for Women Home was an NGO which focused on rehabilitating abused women of all ages. The boss was their patron. In anticipation of recruiting the next generation of ladies to work for him, undoubtedly, it was actually part of his business scheme, as much as a political tool to boost his goodwill. I was glad to be part of the project. I had my own fulfillment working with these women with abuse past, just like I had. So I'm getting a house in London and um, he's already ordered my G Wagon. <laughs> Brand new. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so so um that would be like my third car. Hey! Who's your face today? Who's that didn't need it in her school at all? I was not teaching her mathematics at school. He's not doing big care for me, living large. Look at just go see. Who's is bragging for me, telling me that she wants to buy her OG wagon, wants to buy uh, buy houses for her. She's telling me, bragging for me that she's, she wants to buy her some good guy. She's not even pretty, just because she has him. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at me now. I don't even have a boyfriend. Eh? But she has two sugar daddy and Instagram boy. Hey, life. What kind of life is this? Look at me. Lonely. Look at where I'm staying. But look at her. She travels over, all over the world. Just look at me. Come on, what is this? Ah, I will show Bossy. I will show her. Ha, it will never be well with that girl. By the time I finish with her, by the time I finish with that girl, she will know. I will teach her a lesson. So on that way, so that way they do press up. Now you go fire Kosi. And that Baba Allah will, but that Baba Allah will, where they, where they give her just when she they use hold those men. Let me call Chief. Hash three one. Hash. Chief, Chief. 
Hello, Chief. Hello, Chief. Chief, you don't know me. I want to tell you something about your girlfriend. Because, Chief, you're busy spending your cash with Kosi. And she's busy deceiving you with all these Instagram boys. You don't know me, Chief. You don't know me. Kosi, Kosi, your babe. Kosi, your girlfriend. Yeah. You're busy doing everything for her, buying house, buying cars for her, but she's spending your money with all these Instagram boys. So many of them, I don't even know the boy, chief. I could have just told you the name of the boy. Yes. Hello, chief. Are you there? Okay, chief. Thank you. She will suffer. She's driving for me. Telling me that she's, she wants to buy her car, wants to do this one for her. That girl, I will, I will deal with her, I will show her, I will, I will, every, I will block every corner that she spend money. All the whole holes, I will block it as far as I'm concerned. Or no, don't win on anything for school. One terminal say she don't learn. I will tell her, say, I'll be Lagos, babe. She just, she be learning. I will tell her how to pack and she go pack well for me. For this Lagos, she go pack well for me. And then now she will know the difference between Ghana and Ghana Moscow. Now me and she. Hey! No sense. Sweetie. I miss you more. What are, what are we waiting for? I mean, what are we waiting for? He has changed his mind. Are you serious? Or is this some sort of joke? Well, he just went blank on the whole marriage plans. We were supposed to go shopping for the wedding um, this weekend and he cancelled. What was his reason? Nothing really. Something about um, senatorial ambition. That man is a liar. He's such a lying fool. Do you know this is one of his plans he uses? He'll just use you and dump you. That's what he does. He doesn't care about anyone but himself. We all around him are just pawns on his chessboard. But it's not going to work for him this time. He's so annoying. He is. He claims all he likes about me is the fact that I'm not demanding. Yeah, right. He's just a cheating. He's a cheap bastard. I mean, I've worked for him for so long. We do all his dirty work and he just walks around as a clean, dignified man. And they call us thieves and criminal and thugs. So, yeah. What do we do now? Do we give him more time? No! What are you saying? We're not gonna give him time. I mean, I need time to spend a lot, the rest of my life with the love of my life. A woman that loves me unconditionally. Do you know how long I've been with this man? Seven years before you arrived. And that's when we fell in love. This is a selfish man that wants everything for himself. Yeah. He thinks of no one but himself. Look, sweetie, we have a simple plan. All we have to do is kill him. And take everything that he owns. Everything. Okay. Listen here, hmm? You get married to that man. Hmm? Yes. You poison him. Hmm? Okay. 
And after he dies, we take everything that he owns. Because he belongs to us. Yes, okay. And then we elope. And we live happily ever after. How does that sound? Awesome. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> I knew you loved the plan. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I was just laughing for no reason. I was just acting like a crazy woman. It was so funny, like, this is how she was running and everything. I was like, where are you going to? She had no idea you were <laughs> It was so funny. It was so, so funny. Like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> this is what I'm saying when I was talking about. It was crazy. I was wondering what she was even thinking, you know, in the first place, like, me how to do that. I had no idea. Darling. Baby. Yeah. Mm? Are you okay? Yeah. I, mm, I think about my consignments, that's all. I'm the, mm, it's, it's political situation. So, so. Oh. I told you, when you're home, you leave all the work thoughts behind. Leave it there. Now. Let me help you relax. Mm. Mm. You need some massage? Just how you like it? Mm. Oh? Mm. What's on? Darling, mm. you know all I care about is to make you happy, right? Mm. Huh? Are you sure you're okay? Mm. Mm. There is something wrong going on. I feel it in my bones. There is something wrong going on. Unfortunately, I can't place a finger on it. But my hunch is never telling me. Something wrong is going on. Dawn, I have been with her for over two weeks. I have been watching her. And I find nothing suspicious with her going out and coming in. Good. Now where has she been going? What has she been doing? <laughs> Something is wrong somewhere. She hasn't done anything out of the usual. She has been going shopping and going to the salon. Nothing suspicious at all. The only man that has been around her is... is of course. Well, uh, well, if you say so, but you see, I'm not, I'm not reassured. I, I still feel something wrong. What is going on? Anything wrong? Ah, there's something wrong. Alright, that's good. Alright. Dawn, she is a good girl. And I can assure you that if anything comes, if I find any mischief, I will report to you. You trust me for this. Alright, uh, okay. If you say so. Fun. Of course this I so did. Fresh. It was mm. amazing. Nice trip, yeah? Oh yes it was. Oh, oh, cheers to us trip. and glad to be home again. Mm. Welcome home. It's wonderful. I, that. I haven't oh. asked about daddy. I was just going to lead to it. Like I was going to say, how's puppy? Puppy's fine. Is he happy? Right at the mansion. Who knows? Really having a swell time with old oh, Steve. Life as a Kenny's diva was a fabulous lifestyle, and I loved every bit of it. I love shopping. You know okay, that. okay, let's have a deal. Spa first and then shopping. 
Are you going to pay for my shopping? Why do I have to be the one to pay for it? Is it because I'm the smallest? No, come on, you are the daughter to the dawn. No, 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 you are the daughter to the dawn. <laughs> no, I'm just the daughter to boss man. You are the Colombian connection. <laughs> Everyone thinks just because I'm the Colombian, I have the money, but no, we all get the same. My father was just somebody that Papi helped back in the day. Yeah, it was alright, you know what I'm saying? It was a commercial flight, you know what I'm saying? I should have come here with my private jet, but it's off into Germany for the D-check. You know, but it'll be, it'll be here in time for next week for your birthday, my man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, what's, what's, what's yeah, happening, Yeah, I saw man? the way you rested your ass on our flip side. That's why you talked about private jet. Listen to me. You do anything funny, yeah, I'll kill you. No, 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 man. Everybody knows that you're a one-woman man. And everybody knows that when you pick a woman, you pick the best. And nobody messes with your woman. I know that. I know mm -hmm. that. She's part of the K-team, by the way. K-team? Mm -hmm. Oh. You know... This is the, the K team, the all girl crew that you put together. You know, 20 years ago when you said you were going to do this thing, I, I thought you were going cuckoo. Mm. But looking back now, bro, that was pure genius and your part. When Every idiot can put together a team. But not all idiots can run a cartel like you do. Which makes you the boss, really, not me. That's just flatter because, man, you put together an all girl crew. And you have been sailing successfully all these years. Mm -hmm. You, my man, are the man. You are the man. You're the man. And I tell you something. I sit down here and they do all the job for me. And the money just keeps coming in. The money keeps coming in. And um, I'll be honest with you. I've made so much money, I now want to get into politics. That's right. That's mm. right. You, yeah, man. Why not? Why ever not? Why mm. the F not, man? Go for it. You deserve it, man. I already discussed with the governor of my state. And he said, um, you can carve a way for me into the Senate. So in the next 12 months, don't be surprised. I'll be a senator of the Federal Republic. Then I'll have to call you officially, you know, all formal with all the protocol. And I'll say, I'll say, ladies and gentlemen, this is my friend. He is the right, honorable, very distinguished senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The boss X himself. Mm -hmm. All right, man. You're long mm -hmm. overdue. Mm -hmm. You are long overdue. This country needs you. This country needs you. Yeah, I want to go into the Senate and arrange some better life for the people of the country. So they can enjoy it the way I am enjoying it now. If anybody can do it, you can. I can do it. So, listen, what, what we're doing about this birthday of yours, man, it, it, it's a landmark birthday, you know mm. what I'm saying? So we got to celebrate big time. I, I, I could, my PJ's coming in next week, you know. We can hop over to the Bahamas with some of these, your, your mm. <laughs> you know mm. what I mean? So, you know, we have a good time in the Bahamas, man. Mm, what yeah, do you say? Yeah, right. Uda Bwe. I am not going to the Bahamas. Uda Bwe. I'm going to be here. Uda Bwe. Uda Bwe. Uda Bwe. Uda Bwe. Uda Cheers, my brother. Cheers to the good life.
Wow, Daddy. After a long day of celebration, this is the Divas in-house arrangement to wish you a happy birthday. You've been a father, a friend, a mentor. In fact, you've been our world. Daddy, as you grow a year older today, may you continue to shine and glow. We wish you all that is good in your life. Divas, can we say a happy birthday song to our daddy? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear daddy. Happy birthday to you. For oh, he's a jolly good fellow. For oh, he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow, and so says all of us. Hooray! And so says all of us. Hooray! And so says all of us. Hooray! For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. That's for you. And so says all of us. That would be very callous of you. That would be very callous. This is the most callous man I've known in my whole entire life. And to the callous, you are ruthless and you are wicked. That's what you are. I thought you were smarter than this. After all this time, I thought you were smarter than this. But you are not smart. You know what? I am out of this game. I don't want to be in no relationship with you. I don't want to have anything to do with you. And when this goes south, when I blow the whistle on this, I'm going to bump you in. You know who I am? His principal advisor. You know who the hell you are? You are his mistress. Keep being his mistress. Kelvin, Kelvin. Kelvin. Become his mistress. Kelvin, don't do that. I'm sorry. Kelvin. Hello, girlfriend. Kosara, what are you doing here? I should be asking you what you're doing here. Oh, I, I, um, I was, uh, 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 why blabbing? So, this is it, right? 
<laughs> what? Yasin Kelvin. No. <laughs> oh, why are you doing this, cousin? Why? After all he's done for us, this man has been there for us. He changed our lives. He saved us from misery, right? Why so selfish? Kusara, I'm sorry. Please, save me from this shame, please. I, I, you know what brought me into this mansion, first of all? If not for the fact that I lost my parents, I wouldn't be here. There's more reason you should blow you to him. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll quit. I'll stop seeing Kelvin. I, I swear to God, I swear. I'll stop seeing him. When? No, right now. I'll, I'll stop. I'm going to get this. Liar. I'm driving back home. I, I promise, I swear. Mistake. I should have told Daddy. I really don't know what came over me. Baby. You have kept me waiting for so long. Where are you? I'm on my way. But I think someone is trailing me. Someone is following you. I want to turn back. Where are you? I'm on the Macaulay Road. Okay, look, don't panic. Just, just keep coming straight, all right? Take an alternative road to my house if you have to. Okay. Okay. Just keep cool. I'll see you when you get here. Okay, I have to hang up now. I'll call you. I'll call you. Are you okay? Are you not asleep yet? No, I'm not. Where are you? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in my house. Yeah, I'm at the house. Um, is... You want me to come over? Yes, please do. Okay. There is something urgent I'd like to discuss with you. I'm coming over at once, yeah. It's alright, I'm expecting you. Okay, bye. Coming from? Like my my house. I said, where are you coming from? Don't lie to me. My house. Kosi. Yes. Tell me who you've been sleeping with. Huh? Tell me who you've been sleeping with. Me. Me. I will never live to regret it. And I mean every word of what I've just told you. Who have you been sleeping with? Sleeping? Me, Kosi. Sleeping with somebody. No. No, no, no. I went to church on my way to my house. You called me and I'm here. Why would you think I'm sleeping with somebody? Why would you think that? I can, I can never do that to you. Why would you think I'm sleeping with somebody? Why? <laughs> See, I don't understand why you think I'm sleeping with somebody. Why? I'm even fasting and praying for you. I'm praying so that everything in your business will go well. And you're accusing me of sleeping with somebody. What have I done? What have I done wrong? Oh my God. Oh my God. 
I told you to come directly to my house. Where did you go? He called me, so I had to go you back. Mean? You had to go back? Yes. Is that what you're telling me? Don't tell me you're falling for that old fool. No. I asked you a simple question. Marry me. What? What do you mean what? Oh, you're hesitating. I'm not. Is that what's going on here? Are you trying to tell me you have feelings for that old fool? But we have a plan. We have a plan. Look, Kosi. If you're yearning for an old fool, if you're yearning for an old fool, you have nothing left for you. Because all the money that that fool makes, I make for him. What is wrong with you? After he's done using you, he's going to get another small girl to use. And then you think he's going to care about your face? You think he's going to care about all this? What are you talking about? I said get married to me. And you're telling me eh, we have a plan. What kind of a stupid plan do we have? Kosi. Everything I'm doing, I'm doing for us. I'm going to kill you. What? I am going to kill you. I'm going to take everything back for him. And if you don't let me, I'm going to kill you and I'm going to kill him. I'm going to take everything back and I'm going to kill you if you do not say anything. Are you okay? I'm sorry. Did I hurt you? Did I hurt you? This guy's taking everything from us. He's taking every single thing. Everything that we built, everything that we planned, everything that we are, he's taking everything from us. I'm so confused, I don't even know what to do anymore. I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm sorry. Why is he doing this to us? But I, I just. Listen to me. Tell me who you've been sleeping with. What? No, no, I, I, I'm not. Listen to me. Do I see? What? what haven't I done for you? Tell me. What haven't I done for you? Your parents were killed. You were kidnapped. I invested my time, my resources, to get you out. From your kidnappers and then give a destination to your life. What do I get in return? Infidelity. Oh my god. At first, I did not want to believe it. I said, No. Not my cousin. Right. But look at what you have done. Cousin, I took you in. I spread my heart out to you like a book for you to read and understand who I am. What did you do? You smeared it with charcoal, right? And then turned against me after all I have done to you. Get down on your knees now. Okay. Get down on your knees and tell me the truth. Quite honestly, it is my intention to kill you, and I want to kill you. But I will spare you on only one condition. That you tell me who you have been sleeping with out there. Huh? Tell me the name of the man you have preferred to me now, or I'll see. I am the man she has chosen over you, because you are a slave driver and a chief scoundrel. I am a real man. Kosi, get up from there this minute. 
a banquet. It was you? What is all this? To ask me to watch her. And as you can see, I've done a very good job. What do you want? For ten, I have worked for you for over ten years. And I have nothing to show for it. And as you can see, we're all fishes running in your pond. But now, you will be the slave, and I the boss. And for your first order, you will write me a check of 200 million naira this minute or I kill you where you sit. Did you understand me? Hey, what are you doing? To bring the checkbook and write you the check for the amount you demanded. As you can see, I am not carrying any checkbook here. Thread slowly. Move very slowly. If you temper me, your life will end right now. You were supposed to die a slow death, but you refused to marry one of your slaves, right? But now you're going to die a painful death. Write that check right now. How am I sure that you wouldn't kill me after all of this? Shut up, old man, and stop asking me questions. When you're done writing the check, you will find out. Kill me. Why don't we talk this over like father and son? Son? Who is your son? I am not your son, and if you think this is a game, I am not finding it funny. And also, my name is not Kelvin. You gave me that name to drive your, your slave kingdom. My name is Ikechuku, and you call me by my name. All right. Ikechuku, I saved you from a long prison. Oh, please spare me that story. I'm a desperate man right now, and I need this money. Don't tell me any stupid stories. Write this check right now, or I kill you where you sit. Do not play with me. Hey, take it slow. Put the check back. Any stolen movement and your life will be gone right before your eyes. I did everything for you. I spread my youth for you. Nothing in return. Now, at the count of three, you will die. And when you meet your maker, you better tell him about all the atrocities you have faced here. Now put your hands up and die. One. Two. Three. Yeah, you came right on time. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Now this is Romeo on the phone. Whatever Romeo is, there and there must be. So you know what to do. You know what to do. Good to have you people around me again. Um, it gives me some wonderful feeling. I know you must have been uh, exed by some development, even though you don't want to say it. Kelvin is absent, and Kosi is absent. There were developments that necessitated my having to redeploy those two people. Um, 
Kelvin, I have spent outside the country on a course so he can acquire more techniques for policing individuals. You know, if you occupy the kind of position that he occupies, occasionally you must go out to update your techniques. So he's out he's, uh, in England. He'll be away for about six months. Um, I opened the branch of my business in South Africa. And because the woman who is in charge happens to come from India, I thought that if I deployed somebody who looks like an Indian to South Africa, you know, strengthen the contact for me. So I decided to send Kusi. That's why both of them are absent. Mm -hmm. Good. So he's going to be there for quite some time. I know their absence will mean more work for three of you, but I, I know that you can cope because I have implicit confidence in your abilities, all of you. And um, you'll get used to it, no doubt. If it becomes necessary to engage other people to assist you, I'll do that. But let's just see how it pans out for now. Huh? Good. Kate, do you have any questions? No, Daddy. Kosara, mm. do you have any questions? No, Daddy. And what about you, Kendra? No, Papi. Don't worry, Papi. We will work even harder to make up for the absence of our colleagues. Thank you, my lovely Patrice. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, Daddy, I am fine. Well, okay, to be honest with you, something's off. Something's not really right around here. There's a lot of tension, nervousness. And your friend, he's not happy. He's not happy at all nowadays. After I got back, particularly, I've noticed this. Cozy? Oh, she's in South Africa. And Kelvin has gone for a course to London. Yeah, it's just me, Kate, and Kosara that are here with Papi. And the girls are. Well, I can't really put my finger on it, Dad. Look, um, when I find out what's wrong, I'll call you. But I better get going now, okay? Trust me, Dad, I'm fine. I'm fine, okay? Take care. Love you, Daddy. Bye. <laughs>
I assemble the seed of girls. I believed I had made an impeccable choice. Especially as I knew from the very beginning that I was trying to redefine their lives after all the trauma they had endured. I never knew that the K clan would crumble like this. Hello? Hi, Kate. Yeah, I'm at home. No, no, no. I'm just going to the to the salon, the spa. Yeah. Sorry, I can't talk. Um, I have an appointment. Please, uh, she's waiting for me. I'll call you when I'm back home. Bye. I know something went wrong between you, Kevin, and Coffee. Daddy, Kosha, she knew about it, but she never told you. She knew that they were dating. What? What do you mean? She told me about it. She even told me that you asked her to spy on Coffee. Even after she found out, she never told you. For whatever reason, I don't know. So why did she tell you? You know how it is now, Daddy. She's your daughter. I didn't want to come in between a, a father and a daughter, you know? The bond. I didn't want to come in between the bond. Please, Daddy, that's why I didn't tell you. The truth is that I was helpless. I was totally helpless. I, I couldn't just bring myself to, to doing that. I'm really sorry about it, Daddy. I'm sorry. I was actually helpless. No, what you can do. Daddy, please, I'm sorry. Thank you, Daddy. A shock. Suddenly, I was the only one left at the diverse house. I'm sorry, Kosara. Even though we fell out a few times, you were an awesome colleague. I have decided to walk away from the drama. By the time you read this note, I'll be on the flight to Scotland to get married and live happily ever after. Tell your daddy that I know everything he did. He terrified my two suitors, killed the third one, just to keep me in his empire to manage his funds and loot. What a selfish man. Kelvin told me everything in confidence and I played along his evil game. I thought he was supposed to be an advocate for women, or rather, he was a slave trade in disguise. Please help me inform him that I have sorted myself out with the 10 million naira he asked me to remit to Danko Holdings. Just 10 million naira. I'm not greedy, you know. Finally, I love you, Kosara. You were a very peaceful friend, colleague, 
sister, roommate, and I apologize for all the troubles I gave you. It was out of frustration. Sad that we have to part this way. Please, be safe and above all, be careful. Because I know what happened to Kelvin and you might be the next victim. Ask him where he hid Kelvin's corpse. What a sorrow. Goodbye. Yours, Kate. I find this difficult to believe that Kosara, my adopted daughter, my confidence, who actually should be my eye, knew all along that my emotions were being buffeted by the illicit attachment that Kelvin had to Kosara. And yet, did not tell me. So many years ago, I read a novel by Peter Tilly called You Never Know With Women. Now I can recall the contents of that novel. No matter how much you try, you cannot employ brute force to conquer the heart of a woman. Over at the capital mansion, the boss had been very distant and reclusive. Sometimes we didn't see for days. But just this night, he sent me on an errand he called the ultimate one. I knew a lot had gone wrong with the case squad. I pledged my loyalty to the end. What are you like? You're not like? So, I obeyed and set off for the ultimate mission. I'm Hello. in a hurry, please. Hello. What are, can, I, can I take your boots? You want to take my boots? Yes, your boots, please. Ah, excuse me. Your boots, please. I hope you don't have a police officer. Ah, excuse me. What? Jesus Christ! Mother! Oh, Jesus Christ! It's gone! I don't know how that got in my car. Shut up, you are not right. Come on, Oh, it's gone. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I need to speak to my boss, please. I need to speak to my boss. I don't know how that in my car. Hello? Hello? Daddy? <laughs> yes, there's a gun in my car, a gun in my car. I don't know how I got in the car. Sorry. Row five. Row five, yes, yes. Yes, that. Yes, I did. Are you coming? Sorry. I can go to hell. That is me. It's me, Kosara. Madam, move. Officer. Come on, move, brother. Come on, move, brother. I don't move. Hello, Daddy. Excuse me. Move. I don't move. Come on, give me that. Come. Come. Come on, Daddy. Come on, Daddy. Come on, Daddy. Hey! 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 Hey!
Could I be dreaming? Oh, I'm actually in jail. I had no you to pay. But how come no you to put me in jail? Young lady. Sir. I want you to tell us where you're coming from and to pull a glass of cocaine in your car. Cocaine? Okay. Well, different kinds of guns were found in your car. Two kilograms of cocaine. Now tell us, where are you coming from with different kinds of guns and two kilograms of cocaine? Now I want you to tell us the names of your gang members, the written notes, and the kinds of guns they asked you to go and supply. I'm not a thief. Tell us the truth that stop lying to us. I'll see what's in hell. Please. <sighs> it's dawned on me that my arrest was a grand scheme by the boss as a punishment for not telling him about Kosi and Kelvin's affair. As a control freak. Information was an essential to a major source of power. He could have killed me. I still wonder why he did it. Maybe because we come from the same clan. Or could he be planning to get me out soon and just forgive me? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe he wants to get me out. Yes. Yeah. One of the biggest mysteries of my life still remains Uncle Ken's personality. I still can't place the man in him. I keep wondering if his malevolent side of life was the real him, or if he is just a good man who had to defend his empire at critical occasions. No, no. Sorry. It's now my unenviable fortune to embrace solitude as if nothing ever happened. And yet, I said this for the winning formula I was born. I was totally wrong. <laughs> 